Here's our last video on rotating objects in the XY plane using the rotate command. You've learned how to do this by using points of rotation both inside of and on the edges of our objects, but now I'm going to show you how to do it with points outside of our objects. We'll start off this video with our purple rectangle again. Two units wide and one unit tall shifted one unit over to the right from the origin point. I'll start by giving you a couple of examples of our rectangle rotating around the origin of our system of coordinates here at 0, 0. Remember, when we use the rotate command with only two parameters, the first to identify our object, and the second to specify the number of degrees to rotate it, the rotation is by default around this point 0, 0, where the red and green arrows meet. So let's type in rotate r for our rectangle 90 for a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation and press run program. Our rectangle has now rotated 90 degrees around the origin point 00. zero. So let's replace the 90 with 180. and our rectangle has rotated 180 degrees around the origin of our system of coordinates, or halfway. For one last example, let's rotate our object 270 degrees around the origin. But one quick thing I want to make sure that you understand before I continue is that every time I am pressing Run Program, every single line of code here is run again. So our rectangle is created, colored, and moved again every time I run this. And when we put in a new degree measure, it's put in for the rotation, and the rotation is performed from the rectangle's original unrotated position, right around here where my cursor is. So when I put in 270, it's rotating 270 from there. It is not rotating 270 from where we're currently seeing it. So let's put 270 in the program here and run it. And we can see that our rectangle has moved three quarters of the way around our system of coordinates. So let's reset our rotation before I show you another example by putting in a zero for the degrees. I'd like to show you a rotation around a custom point which is outside of the circle and not zero, zero. So let's do a 90 degree rotation around the point, z around the point zero comma two. Before we press run program, Let's imagine how this rectangle is going to move. The point 0, 02 is right here, and we're doing a 90 degree rotation around it. Think of this rotation as our rectangle orbiting around this point, almost like it's being swung by a rope connected between this point and this point on the corner. So let's press Run Program and see where it goes. It was swung 90 degrees from this point in this position all the way up here. So to sum up rotating objects in the XY plane with the rotate command, let's just review a few basic things. The first parameter is the object that you want to rotate. The second parameter that you put in the rotate command is the number of degrees that you want to rotate it, with positive numbers being counterclockwise rotations and negative numbers being clockwise. The third parameter is the point that you rotate around. And remember that the object behaves, behaves differently depending on whether you select a point inside the object, on its edge, or outside the object. And if no point is entered, the rotation will be performed around 0, 0. Try making your own objects and rotating them, and have some fun with it.